How's it going guys, your old pal Baba Ganoush here once again. So for all my fellow backpackers out there, you know that every single time you step out that door, your friends and your family are always worried. And as our mothers would like to say, it's their job to worry. So with my upcoming through hike, I wanted to get something that number one would aid in the success of my through hike, as well as put my mind and my family's mind at ease, knowing that they can always stay in touch with me and I can get the help that I need in an emergency situation. So with that, I present to you here today, the Garmin InReach Explorer. Let's go ahead and get into it. So okay guys, like I said, this is the Garmin InReach Explorer. So some things that I want to cover today are some of the essential features that this gives to you, some of the additional features that this gives to you, as well as my main reasons for choosing this over some of the competitors. So to start off with, some of the main essential features that you're gonna get with this device. Number one, it's going to be a GPS tracker. It's going to track your location and your progress along whatever activity that you're doing anywhere around the world. It's incredibly accurate as well, being able to pinpoint your location within five meters. So especially in a search and rescue attempt, that could really, really come in handy. But especially for someone like myself attempting an upcoming through hike, for my family to have the opportunity to, to pop up on the computer, find out exactly where I am, and follow the progress that I've made along my hike as well is something that was really important to me. And of course, it's also going to give you your standard tracking function, or what we like to call it, the breadcrumb feature. This is great, so especially along a hike, it's constantly tracking and pinging your location so that when you reach your destination, you can follow the tracker right back out. Or if you find yourself getting off trail a little bit, it's great to be able to use that breadcrumb function to follow it back to get you right back on course. Secondly as well, this is going to be a really nice high capacity navigation tool. This model right here does come with preloaded topographical maps. So especially giving you that detailed map, that high resolution, just gives you a more pinpointed location, as well as gives you more versatility just on the standalone GPS tracker. You also do have a fantastic waypoint manager in here as well. Whether you're setting the location ahead of time or checking the location when you arrive at that spot, it's really nice to where you can save those locations if you do plan on visiting those again in the future. Because this does have full-on GPS capabilities, this does also give you the capabilities for that pre-routed track. You know, so you can set your plot, set your course ahead of time, um, and therefore just making it nice and simple, all you have to do is follow the line in front of you. But the next two features are what really set this thing apart from any standard handheld GPS unit. That's going to be number one, the two-way messaging capabilities. Yes, I said that right, the two-way messaging capabilities. So especially being able to communicate with friends and family, you can text, you can email, uh, you can also receive texts and emails as well. It's a great way to just keep in close contact with friends, family, people who you'll meet along your adventure. So especially if you need to have certain things mailed to you, you just need to find out what's going on back at home, what's going on in people's lives, it's a great way to, for, to communicate with those special people in your life, even if you're in an area with zero cell phone service. And of course, it comes with the all-important SOS button here as well. This is going to be your last resort call for help in that really emergency situation, especially if someone gets injured, to make sure that you're going to notify search and rescue immediately and increase your likelihood that you're going to be able to get out of there safe and secure. So essentially what that, what that SOS feature is going to give you is you flip this protective casing open so that you don't accidentally hit the button, you hold that thing down, and what you're actually going to do is not just search and rescue is going to immediately be notified, but you're also going to communicate with someone on the other end so that they can find out exactly what the issue is, what your circumstance is regarding weather, location, so on and so forth. That way they can communicate that information over to the search and rescue personnel to make sure that they are fully prepared, both equipment and also physically and mindset wise as to what they're heading into. You can cancel that SOS feature just in case you accidentally hit it. Uh, all the instructions are going to be built in, of course, with the user manual. Really, really simple to use in the likelihood you do accidentally press it. But as long as that protective cover is down, you're okay. So let's talk about some of the additional features that you're going to get beyond the first big four. 
This is also going to give you a digital compass. So you should always have a standard compass with you no matter where you go. Obviously this runs on batteries, a compass doesn't. But it's nice to where this does give you that compass right then and there. So automatically it's gonna configure the, uh, the true north or magnetic north declination for you and make sure you're heading off in the right direction. This is also gonna give you a barometric altimeter and accelerometer. So being able to really look at the stats and take a look at the elevation changes that you've gone under as well as take a look at the pace that you've been setting for yourself is another great feature to make sure that you're gonna to get to your destination in the timely fashion that you want to. This also does give you weather alerts, a really, really nice feature, especially in areas where there's no cell phone service at higher elevations uh, when the weather can just change on you in a heartbeat. Being able to get those weather, uh, weather alerts ahead of time and prepare yourself accordingly is a great way to make sure that you're safe and secure. You're also able to share your location on your social media platforms like Facebook and Twitter. Or another great way for your friends, your family, people who are just interested in what you're doing to check in on your location and to see the progress that you've made. So beyond some of the features that this gives to you, uh, which are absolutely incredible, this incorporates a personal tracker, a GPS unit, a two-way messenger, and also that SOS button all in one. Uh, really, really nice, and especially for something that is still nice and small and compact. You are able to pair this with the free EarthMate app uh, on your cell phone, a, so that if you need to look at a larger topo map, uh, certainly the screen provided here is pretty nice and substantial. Your cell phone screen is most likely going to be a little bit larger, being able to really give you those fine-tuned details that maybe you need. Let me talk about the features that I was really looking for in a good unit and the real main reasons why I chose this option over some other competitors. So first, of course, is going to be that GPS tracking. Obviously, like I said early in my video, friends and families worry every time you step out that door, including your mother's. So I wanted something that was going to put their mind at ease and put my mind at ease, knowing they could keep track of where I am and the progress that I'm making. On top of that are the two-way messaging capabilities. As a thru-hiker, that could really, really come in handy. So, so especially as the seasons change over with the warmer weather, um, if I'm in an area where I have no cell phone service, I'm able to text or email my support system to mail down uh, the summer equipment and therefore mail back that I've been carrying. So that's a really, really great feature. As well as just being able to check in on things at home, see how friends, family are doing. They can check in with me as well to see how life on the trail is going was something that was very, very important to me. I know along the Appalachian Trail, um, you do have quite a lot of cell phone service. However, for some of those dead areas, uh, this is really going to come in handy. But I'm not just looking at my Appalachian Trail through hike. I'm looking at through hikes moving on in the future. You know, certainly doing the PCT, the CDT, the John Muir Trail, so on and so forth. A lot of those areas don't have any cell phone service for substantial times. So moving forward, looking ahead, having something that I can take anywhere around the country, anywhere around the world, and have that two-way messaging and that communication uh, was something that was really important to me. Of course, so posting on to social media. You know, obviously I do all my YouTube, all my Instagram. I have a great Facebook page, Twitter account as well. So being able to post my location to my Facebook, to my Twitter account for all my friends and family to see and they can continue to follow my progress and share the experience with me, uh, something that I was really looking forward to as well. The weather alerts, something really, really cool um, to where I don't have to constantly check my cell phone Plus as well, this is going to give me alert and a chime and things like that ahead of time so that I can prepare accordingly. Uh, especially going through the Smokies, uh, as I get further up north going through the Whites, those two areas always, are always known for their severe weather conditions and how it can just change in a heartbeat on you. So being able to get those weather alerts and to really plan my trip accordingly really is just going to aid in my success of my through hike. And of course, last but not least, is that SOS capability. Again, looking beyond the Appalachian Trail, going off into different parts of the country and different parts of the world, where it is going to be a fairly remote location, just to put my mind at ease and my family's mind at ease, that if I run into a situation, I get injured, uh, I can hit that SOS button, uh, notify search and rescue, and get the help that I need to get me to safety. Now to go into some of the physical features of the unit itself, uh, which I know you guys are probably waiting for me to talk about, 
number one, let's talk about the battery. This is a USB rechargeable lithium ion battery. Uh, it's nice that you can just plug it into either a wall unit or of course if you have those battery packs along the trail like I will be doing. Uh, really nice and simple for you. Battery life is pretty spectacular, especially depending on how you use it. So it's going to give you up to 100 hours of battery life when it's in the full-on tracking mode. So when you're using everything involved with this, upwards of 100 hours. Pretty impressive, actually. However, when you use some of the power saving function, so basically it decreases the performance to just the tracking capabilities and some other basic functions, you're going to get upwards of 30 day battery life on this. This is also a unit that is incredibly water resistant. You can have the strap to the top of your backpack completely exposed to all the wind, all the rain, all the snow, ice, so on and so forth, and it's going to hold up without any issue. And for all you through hikers and gram counter out, counters out there, this is a little bit heavier than some other options like the Spot Gen 3, but obviously it gives you far more capabilities than that unit itself. It comes in at a fairly decent 7.5 ounces with the carabiner clip included in the back. So not too bad, 7.5 ounces. Certainly I could have looked at the Spot Generation 3 to cut some of my weight a little bit, but for someone like myself doing an extensive through hike and planning on doing more through hikes in the future, I wanted something with a more variety of features, the full rain features, um, especially putting everything all together, the fact that it includes so many different units into one solid thing uh, really is more ideal for my situation. Now, of course, the cost. Let's talk about the cost of things because obviously that's always an, an important detail as well. So number one, this is going to retail uh, for $450 down at your local REI. Not too bad. The standard SE model is only $50 less, but it doesn't give you a number of different features that this is going to. But I think where this unit really takes the cake over some of its competitors is the subscription fees and subscription services that you can get with it. You really have some nice customization features with those subscriptions, much like your cell phone nowadays. So you can actually customize how much data you need, how much data you think you're going to use, and therefore you're going to pay accordingly. This also does give you month-to-month -month capabilities as opposed to other competitors where you have to pay for either three months, six months, or an entire year, whether or not you're going to use it for that amount of time regardless. So being able to have more control over the payment plans as well, yes, at $450 is, ex is more expensive than some other options, but only having to pay on a month-to-month -month basis will eventually give you some nice cost savings. So some really cool features involved with this thing. As you can see, I've really done my research onto this. I've chosen these things for some really profound reasons, not just looking forward to the short-term future and my upcoming through hike, but looking to the long-term future and where I plan to go on from there. So if you guys are looking at a unit like this yourself, it's definitely something I would take a look at, definitely something I would consider. The fact that it gives you so many different units all in one is something that's really nice and multi-purpose, something that's really nice and versatile for you as well. So I am so excited to take this thing out for my Appalachian Trail through hike. I hope that I get to test this thing before I go on my through hike. I do have one or two trips coming up in February. We'll see how those things go. In the meantime, I have a lot of other great videos coming out, a lot of other pieces of gear to review. I'm super looking forward to it. It's going to be a great, great next month and a half and a great, great through hike upcoming. So thank you guys so much for following along on another great video. I hope this gave you some great information if you're looking to a unit similar to this one. Don't forget to subscribe down below to keep up to date with all my videos, including my upcoming through hike. Hit that like button, hit that share button, leave me a comment or a question down below. I always appreciate the support. Check you guys on the next video, next gear review, next adventure. Pleasure as always, Baba Ganoush out.